<laughs> Loading games using Simpsons. My name is Mr. Sapism, and in this video, I'm going to explain to you how to get rid of the background or static noise you might experience in or in a recording recorded by a microphone, a headset microphone. And in this video, I'm going to explain how to do it with a Logitech G230, I believe, G230 headset, the one I have, the one I've uh, made a headset review for that a lot of you have requested a video for me fixing how I get my microphone to be this way, how I make it, how I get rid of the, uh, the all that static and background noise that you would hear. So this is how my microphone sounds without any audio editing, so as you can see, or here I should say, there are a lot of static background noise in the background as you can hear, as you can hear, so I'm going to stop talking so you can actually hear it without my voice. There are a number of ways on how you can fix your microphone, how you can make your microphone quality much better. So I'm going to show you one way. So we want to do is uh, where the hidden icons arrow is, this little arrow here, you want to click that. You want to go here, you want to click recording devices, ignore everything I have there. And now this is where you're going to come to see the screen. Now you might not have all these things. I have all these things, uh, but you might not, obviously. This is the microphone that I use. So what you want to do is you want to click on that. Uh, you might, yours might say something else, like Turtle Beach, USB, or whatever. This one's just front mic because I use the... Uh, my headphone uses a 3.5 millimeter jack. Now, uh, just because so you guys know, head headsets with the uh, front panel 3.5 millimeter jacks aren't really, they're not the best, okay? Now, generally, USB headphones, yeah, I recommend going for microphones and headsets with USBs because they generally have better quality, microphone quality, and are usually better. 3.5 millimeter jacks aren't exactly the best, but you can still manage with them. They're not atrocious or anything like that. I just recommend USB over. 3.5 millimeter jacks. Now, when you go levels, now very much just make sure this is uh, all the way up because I know some people have been complaining about how they can barely or even not hear their voices. I remember when I had a uh, Siberia Steel Series V2 headset, this was like all the way down, so I couldn't hear myself if, or very well, and I thought it was broken until I came to here and I increased it. Increased it. So you always make sure that's at uh, maximum. You can play around with it if you want. So I'm just gonna leave mine at maximum. I uh, just leave this. Uh, I don't even know why. Why I've just left. Why that is microphone boost. I just left that. Uh, DC offset. I've already disabled all this, so it doesn't really matter. If you want, you can uh, leave that on. I'm not so sure what that does, to be honest. Uh, here you go. DC offset cancellation makes input signal operate at the light at the right level. So there's that. And advanced. Always make sure it's on the maximum setting. Maximum. 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 Okay. Two channel, 24 bits. 90, I can't see that very well, 192,000, I believe that says 192,000, okay, hertz, I think that's what it says, now looking from this distance, and, you know, I just have these things allow, allowed, uh, accepted, you can you can choose to have that accepted if you want, um, I have that on maximum settings, and very much, this is just how my one looks, and that's one thing, that's one part. Now what you want to do is go on Audacity, so I'm just going to pause this for a sec. And so in Audacity, this is one way to edit the audio of a video. So I'm going to find uh, some audio that I have somewhere, random crap, find, uh, you got shit, but okay, let's just play this. Um, yes, okay, so. Oh, Krillis. Okay, uh, that's probably oh, a horrible Krillis. example. I need one that's like not edited. So I'm just going to go here, or right, hold on. Alright, so I think I've uh, I've found some footage here that I can use to record, so I'm just going to find a random video. Uh, I'll use this. Okay. No, wait. Can I use the audio? Please? Okay, horrible idea. Let's go and... I'm going to record myself, actually. This will be even better. So, let's record ourselves saying penis. I like a penis. I like a big penis. I like a big penis. You know, the big like a penis. I like to put the one in my right ear and it comes out of Okay, this this is horrible. I, I feel sorry for making you guys feel disgusted right now. It's just uh, random things, for an example. Now I'm going to stop talking. For a little bit. See? I just need that. Now I'm going to stop here. And, yeah, just check if my microphone is muted. That would have been horrible if I recorded like 10 minutes. With my microphone being muted. And I'm going to play this, so as you can hear. Okay, 
So as you can, or as you could hopefully hear, there's a lot of static in the background there. So if you get rid of it, and this is how this is generally done for YouTube videos. You can't really do this for uh, Skype when you're talking on Skype to someone. You can't really have your computer manually uh, edit it out, edit it out. I think Skype has a uh, built-in software within Skype that does it for it, but I don't know about that. I'm not 100 percent sure. Basically, what you want to do is find any gap here. So you could use, I mean, you could even use this. If you don't have any gaps, just zoom in using um using this button. You could like zoom in. I don't want to zoom in. I just want to zoom out a little bit and go back in. Now, what you want to do is highlight this. And this is how you get rid of background noise in your recording. So what you want to do? So as you can see, we play this. You can hear background noise, right? You can hear static, static. So when you go, so what you want to do is go into an effect, effect. Noise removal, get noise profile, click on it again, effect, noise removal. But this time, oh, when you cl click on it the second time, you highlight the whole thing, okay? So you double click it. And what you want to do here is you can preview so, it. Support ourselves, saying penis. So, oh, penis, support like ourselves, penis. Penis. Like penis, like penis. As you could hear, that like there was no dog. background noise with that track, so I'm just going to go OK. And if you were play now, so, support ourselves. There's so, basically no audio background penis. static noise there. So this is how you edit your or your audio microphone recordings for YouTube videos, for any videos in fact, uh, whether it be YouTube or Facebook or whatever the fuck you want it to be, to be for. Now I'm redoing this part of the video where I uh, explain to you how to export a video. Uh, not video, sorry, audio track. Now this is a different audio track obviously, this is the audio track of this video actually. Uh, and this is also uh, edited, I believe, so you guys don't have to worry about that. I'm just going to export. This is how you export video. You just go here, go export. You, I'm going to export this to uh, music, for example, right? Music. Uh, it's probably a better place to export them to. And, and it's just going to be a random name. So I'm going to rename this. Re ice cream. No space, something. So. Now I go save, and there we go. That is how you export a video. And now I'm just exporting the entire project to Microsoft. Go here, I go here, Microsoft, not Microsoft, music. And it's here somewhere, most likely. Free, free, free ice cream. There it is, see? There are, there are a number, number of ways, ways how how you fix, fix your microphone. Your microphone. And there we go. That has been exported. That is how you export audio, audio, audio from Audacity after it has been edited. And all you have to do is drag it into Sony Vegas or whatever you're using to edit your videos. But yeah, that I've showed you guys how to export and I've showed you how to edit your microphone quality in Audacity from videos that you've recorded. Now, if you have a really shitty microphone and you basically just want to improve the quality, there's not much you can really do other than buy a new microphone or just play around with what I showed you earlier, which was the recording settings. So to get there once again, you want to click here, recording devices, open this, go here. Click on that and play around with these things. That's basically the most you can get out of your microphone if it's being crap and you want to maximize it, right? So, yes, I believe that is all I can uh, say. If you guys have any problems with your microphone or headset or whatever, make sure to either Google them or post them in the comments below. Often Googling problems about your headsets or mi and microphone would generally... There are, a lot, there are a lot of answers out there because there are a lot of problems that occur with multiple different types of technologies and yeah i hope you guys enjoyed this video i hope this video was informative and that you guys had enjoyed it that it helped somebody and if it did please remember to subscribe like the video comment below in the comments below if it did help you or not or if you have any problems and i'll be seeing you guys next time thank you for watching have the enjoy the rest of your day